That's what I admire about her. I admire her drive. Her heart is so tender and so sweet. Genuinely, genuinely sweet. Preston and Liv coming together is just awesome. It was just two lovers sitting in the car, listening to Blonde, falling for each other. Pink and orange skies, feeling super childish. No Donald Glover. Miss call from my mother. Like, where you at tonight? Got no alibi. I was all alone with the love. I was committed forever to her. And I think at that moment, I knew that he was completely dedicated to her and that they would be eventually married. I don't need no lie to see you. Well, I love her Christ-like character, first of all, and that she pushes me um, in my faith each and every day. But then she's a goofball, man. She got her papa, her papa's jeans, her dad. She is, she's a character, like, usually I don't say this about a lot of girls, but she is so much funnier than most people I know. So she she always keeps me laughing, so that's one of the main things I love about her. My favorite part was when Olivia and I made her bouquet together. And um, just that time together and, and her choosing each flower specifically, knowing that that would be the bouquet that she would hold in her hands as she walked down that aisle. <laughs> he seems to live out his faith. So that, that's what I love about Preston. Um, but he has been a joy to raise, and and uh, I can't say that enough. He's uh, hasn't been too much trouble, not too much, but uh, love him to death. Um, he's a wonderful kid. I can't even begin to explain how much you guys have meant to me over the past four years. You know, I've been hoping and praying for some great Christ-like friends, and you guys have embodied that. Um, you know, words can't express how much you guys mean to me. You know that. I spent countless hours, you know, watching movies and hanging out with you guys, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. These memories are going to last a lifetime, so thank you so much. You guys have just been great examples of what a relationship that pursues Jesus should look like, but you've also been great examples of communicating honestly when there was things that weren't hard. And you guys are never this picturesque, perfect couple that has everything together. You just love each other well, and you're honest, and you're real. And I just love you guys, and I just love, so, love you guys so much together, and I love how much you laugh. Um, and I just can't wait for so many more memories to make with you. And I'm super excited to get to be with you guys next year and the year after. Um, so yeah, I love you, Liv. I love you, Preston. Uh, don't cry because I don't cry. Oh my, don't say that. <laughs> I was... I was okay till you said that. <laughs> um. Well, you're gonna make me cry. Oh and happy Father's Day. <laughs> Thank you. That is beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. That's so beautiful. You like your boonier. <laughs> Emma just helped me out with it. So I'm scared to see him because if I'm crying this much when I see you, I'm going to be bawling when I see Now, Olivia is an, inc an incredibly strong young woman. Um, some mistake it for stubbornness, but I know that she is driven, she's ambitious, she's a very strong young woman. She, uh, when she puts her mind to something, she goes all out, 100% effort, she's all in. And, uh, and I think that's what I admire about her. I admire her drive and just her persistence and, and uh, 
seeing a goal and putting in the work that it requires to get to get there. We moved west towards the city. Grew up fast and got a little gritty. We found love, worked hard. Bought a house with a big backyard. I made you something changed in me. I'm better with you than I'll ever be. Let's pray together. Father, we are so grateful and we are so thankful for Preston and for Olivia. God, we praise you for their lives and Lord, the way that they have put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ and the way they are now striving to serve you. God, we thank you so much for the heritage that they have, not only for their parents, but their grandparents and for just the blessing that it is to see generations to watch and observe and then put their faith and trust in you. God, I thank you for Jonathan and Tammy and the blessing that they are in the way they serve you. God, we thank you for Peter and Kimberly, the way they have raised Preston to keep his eyes on you and serve you with all of his heart. God, we come to this time and we know that this ceremony and then most of all this unification of Preston and Olivia, Lord, it's a picture. And what an amazing picture it is because it's a picture of Jesus Christ and his church. Lord, I pray that you might help Preston and Lord, I pray that you might help Olivia together to understand and to see that it is a picture that is to demonstrate the unification of Jesus Christ and his church. And may they be an amazing light of who you are and how your love is abundant for your people. God, I pray that you might help them as they now will say their vows soon. God, I pray that they might always remember these vows and keep these vows. Lord, I pray that you might help them to build a godly Christian home. And Lord, we will give you honor and glory for what you're gonna do in their lives. We thank you and we praise you so much for this couple. President and Olivia, you have chosen to write your own vows. And it is with these words you express your binding promises to love, honor, and cherish one another. I invite you now to make these promises to each other. Preston. Olivia. Someone recently asked me to explain the moment I knew I was going to ask you to be my wife. The question caught me off guard and I gave an impulsive answer. If asked that same question today, my answer would be this. It was never just a moment. It was watching God daily pour out his wisdom to you through his word as you filled with Bible, your Bible with notes and highlights all over the pages. It was seeing the excitement in your eyes when I opened your door to come visit after work in school. It was the pain in my weak back muscles when you would jump onto me after I walked through that door. <laughs> Even after we were engaged, it was watching the love and commitment you had for your sweet little third graders and seeing how much they loved you back. It was also the comforting heart you showed after Grandpa passed away. I promise to always protect that beautiful heart and to love you unconditionally with all of mine. I promise to be faithful to you always and to place your needs before my needs. I promise that I will provide for you, fight for you, and always choose you first. I even promise to make time for our spontaneous blindfolded dance parties just between you and me. Most importantly, I promise to lead us in the footsteps of Jesus and chase after him with you by my side. Liv, I have cherished every moment and adventure with you over the last three years, and I vow to love and to cherish you in all the future moments, when we are better or worse, when we are rich or poor, and we are sick or healthy, until death do us part.
These are just a few things I've learned so far with you and from you. First of all, never plug an oven range cord into the wall without an oven being attached. Learn that one the hard way. <laughs> Life is too short to stay frustrated. How to love wholeheartedly, unconditionally, intentionally. How to stay faithful in walking with the Lord. How to have the patience of 1,000 saints. I'm still working on this one myself. <laughs> how to love and enjoy God's creation, and how to be kind when it's really hard. Through our marriage, I hope and pray that I will reflect to you the smallest glimpse of how the Lord loves us. I will always find new things to fall in love with about you. I promise to take care of you. I promise to challenge you to be who God intends you to be. I promise to respect you and to trust you as you lead our marriage. I promise to always make you laugh. I promise to be open-minded and understanding. And when there are moments where I'm struggling to uphold these promises wholly, I will reflect on who you are and reflect on who I am in Jesus. I will always be so blessed to love you and to be loved by you. With everything in me, I promise to continue learning from you, listening to you, loving you, and leaning on you forever. Now, as Preston and Olivia have exchanged promises and rings, pledging their continuing love and faithfulness to each other in the holy bond of wedlock, and have witnessed this before God and their loving friends and family, it is my true honor to pronounce them husband and wife, those that God has joined together let no man separate. Preston, you may kiss your bride.
Hi, I'm Abby, and today it's been an honor to stand by Preston and Olivia as maid of honor. Um, so first, before we get started, I just want to take a minute to thank John and Tammy for all the work and love and effort that they've poured into making this day so special. So Libby, or as I often call her, Libby Lou, met back in our freshman year of college, and I distinctly remember her walking into the dining room. She had these really high heels on, this preppy outfit, and I was struck by her confidence. And that's something that has stood with me throughout our whole friendship. And I remember when me and Preston went to go uh, to this, I don't know, hangout event at the Hill, and that's where we met. Well, I met McKinley and, and Liv, and also, you know, Preston met them. And I remember on the, on the walk back, uh, Preston distinctly was like, man, that, that Liv chick, she was, she, was, she was really cute, you know? I'm like, yeah, man, you know, yeah. Um, I think that that's something that stood out to me the most during our time living together was the many mornings, Liv, that you would just sit there and listen, encourage me. And I feel like the advice that you always gave me was so rooted in Christ and um, always challenged me. It wasn't always easy advice to listen to, and it wasn't always necessarily what I wanted to hear, but I think that's truly what I cherish, cherish the most about you and about our friendship. Um, it's just your heart that truly cares for my heart. Preston and Olivia, you know, I'm not the sappiest person around, but I love you guys a lot. Um, you guys have been role models to me throughout college, even though we're the same age, and we've been through a lot of life together, but you guys have been just role models to me, people that I look up to, and um, people I want to be more like. Um, both of you have just amazing futures ahead of you, and uh, hopefully a long future together. So, love you guys. Hope you guys have a great honeymoon, and uh, I hope we can see each other more often than we do now. So, <laughs> love you guys. Uh, hey guys, um, thank you so much for letting me be here and just be a part of this moment that you guys are sharing, and you're gonna be able to have for years to come with this video. But thank you so much uh, for being my friends. Um, and not just Preston, I mean, Liv, you have, <clears throat> you've become one of the boys with us, too. I mean, it's been, you're hilarious, you're fun to hang out with. Obviously, Preston, uh, I love you to death, man. I really do. And um, you are such an amazing example of a godly friend who is selfless and has just a servant's heart and just genuinely cares for people. And um, I love you, man. And I love both of you guys. And I hope you guys have the best of marriages and um, maybe one day be in mine in the near future, right? So anyways, I love you guys and uh, I'm praying for you. I would um, do absolutely anything for the two of you. And you are my world. You two are my sunshine. And I'm so proud of you. And that the... Uh, relationship you have and how beautiful the days ahead for the two of you will be. I love you both so much. Okay, so um, this has been a very difficult transition for me because Preston and I are very close. Um, obviously, he's my only son. He's my firstborn child and I love him very dearly. What has been difficult is that as a mom, I know he will be way happier live as your um, husband than ever as my child. And so releasing him to you is a gift that I can give to you, but it has been hard because I love him so much. But because I also love you very much, I don't ever want to stand in the way. I don't ever want to be um, interfering in your relationship. I want him to be 100% sold out to you because of how much um, I love the two of you. And I am so thankful for you, Liv, and that God has placed you in our family. And I can't wait for us to get to know each other better and better as time goes by. And I love you guys so much. I have wanted this happiness for both of you since the day I knew both of you. I love you in person. I love you so much. I love both of you. I'm so happy to have known you and to be part of this day. I'm excited just for what's next for you and being a part of it all. Um, it's just been great to be able to know you guys um, and to be able to, going forward, be able to spend time with you guys. I don't need no light to see. 
Show.